So we're going to show you how to do the Nutcracker curls that are used for party scene and for Polly Chanel. Um, I have my daughter Jenna to help um, model the curls. Um, and we have a bunch of supplies that you'll need. Um, you need really thick gooey gel. Um, it kind of is popular in the 80s and 90s. I got the really big tub at Walmart. It was like $2. Pretty cheap. You'll need some clips to clip the hair that you're not using out of the way. Um, you'll need a comb. Um, with the tail so that you can make sharp lines. Um, you'll need curlers, the foam roller curlers that clip shut. Um, I got them at Sally Beauty Supply. And you'll need paper and papers um, that are used to go on before the curler. You start with a wet head, um, so I always have water just in case her hair starts to dry. So I started out by putting Jenna's hair half up. Um, in a ponytail. The ponytail should be on top of her head. Um, start at the ears and make a straight line up so that you have half of her hair on top of her head. I'm going to clip that part out of the way. So we're going to do that last. Okay. And then in the back, you divide her hair in half down the center. start on one side, so I'm going to wrap up the part that I'm not using to keep it out of the way and hopefully keep it wet. Okay, so she has half of her head ready to be curled. Um, we're going to divide her hair into sections. Jenna's hair is pretty fine. Um, if you have really thick hair, you'll have to make more sections than I do with her. Um, I typically do three rows for her. So we'll do a top section, a middle section, and a bottom section, and we'll clip them off. Um, so there's a top section, a middle section, and a bottom section all divided, because we're gonna curl row by row, starting with the top section. When you're curling, you want to keep in mind that whatever you do on this side, you want to keep the side as close to the same as you can. You're going to divide the top section into about one inch sections for each curler. So I'll break off a portion and then for each section of wet hair, I'll take a pretty good portion of the gel. run it the whole section of the hair. And then I'm going to take one of the wrappers and bring it all the way down to the bottom of the hair to cover the tip so that it doesn't get crunchy inside the curler. And then you take a curler, lay it on top, and roll up towards the head, towards her ear. You want to try to keep it tight and flat as best as you can. You just snap it into place. When you lock the curls in place, it's important that they're vertical on her head because that's the shape that the curl will be once you take it out. Okay, so we've done most of the half of her head. Um, so we have three rows. Um, the curls are vertical. And I have one more to do. And when they're snapped on, try to have the snaps at the top. It just makes it easier to take out when you're all done. So then the other part that we still have to do is the ponytail. So the ponytail I find to be the trickiest part because you can't lay the rows the way that we did here. So you kind of just bundle them on top of her head. So I do the same thing where I divide the ponytail in half. 
And then rather than making lots of rows, I just do a couple of sections. So I'll probably do three sections on each side. I find the ponytail takes the longest to dry too. So especially if you have really thick hair, um, try to make smaller sections if you can so that they dry in time for when I take them out. Now that I know the process, for me it'll probably take between a half hour to 45 minutes to do her entire head. Um, my first year doing it, it definitely took between one and two hours. Um, just because you're figuring it out and getting in the routine of it. We typically roll the curls on Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. Um, so we'll put on a movie. Jenna will hand me all the stuff that I need to make it go a little faster. So she's handing me the papers. She unsnaps the curler, and she just does that while we watch a show or something and get the curls in. The curls need to stay in um, for at least 24 hours. For Jenna, even though her hair isn't thin, it does take longer than 24 hours for hers to dry. That's why we do it Wednesday night um, for the Friday night dress rehearsal. Okay, so I'm switching to the other side now, and I'm starting with the outside piece so that that can go on the bottom of like the bundle of curls. So on this side, I'm gonna do it opposite, but I'm still going up towards her ear, but I'm doing towards her other ear on this side. So now they are all curled and the little ponytail on the top. It's kind of just a little bundle on top of her head. So like I mentioned, she has to sleep in this now um, in order for them to dry. So we'll do this Wednesday night. And in order to keep them safe while she sleeps, um, we have to use a scarf to cover her head. So there's a couple different kinds you can buy. This kind is the square kind. Um, I actually prefer this kind. It has an opening so that it goes on her head and then it gets tied. So I'll show you what that looks like. I didn't tie, I didn't do her whole head, but I would do the same thing on this side too. So to sleep, this would go on top of her head. And I would kind of crisscross it in the back. And then some people tie it on the top. I can't remember. Do you like it on the top or on the bottom? Bottom. So some people like to tie it up on the top up here. So you just tie it in a bow or whatever for them to sleep. I'll just make a little knot so it's secure. She has to wear this to Thanksgiving. <laughs> so she'll keep this on all the time. She can take the cover off if she wants to, if it's bothering her. Um, we try to keep it on as much as we can just so that she doesn't get flyaways and stuff like that as it sits. So she'll wear this all day on Thanksgiving. Friday, when we get to the theater for dress rehearsal, that's when we take it off. So this will come off. So if they're showering in, like on any of those other days, shower cap can't get your hair wet at all. Um, you also don't want it to get humid. So if you're taking a shower, make sure you actually put like a secure shower cap so that the humidity doesn't make your curls up. So by Friday, when I take it out, they would be dry. We started with the curls at the top. When we take them out, we take them out from the bottom instead. When I take them out, they're not gonna be set because I just did it right now, but I kind of unwind them onto my finger. So I'll take it out and kind of rewrap it onto my finger so that we don't lose the shape of the curl. And then once it's set and I pull my finger out, 
the curl would look like that, but it would stay. You unsnap the curl, and I use my finger to kind of take the place of the curl that used to, the curler that used to be there, and I'll unwrap it onto my finger, and then it'll come off much more easily when it's dry. Once these are curled and set, they'll actually probably only be that long because um, they'll be so firm from all of the after the show. So on Friday, when we're all done with dress rehearsal and we have the show on Saturday, we have to rewrap it at the theater before we leave. So when they're done with dress rehearsal, you bring all of your stuff with you and you rewrap all the curls top down. When you rewrap them, um, you don't want to get them wet because they're not going to sit for very long. They're only going to sit overnight for the show the next day. So you don't want to use water unless you really, really have to, like if it's really frizzy or something. So instead of using the goop, I like to use the spray gel on the parts that I need to. So it comes out like a spray. I'll spray it onto my hand and kind of just smooth the curl if I need to before I wrap it again. That way you're not putting tons and tons of goop back into their hair. Because again, the last time she washed her hair was Wednesday night. So she washes it Wednesday, curls it, keeps it in. Friday we uncurl for the show, curl it back up, uncurl it Saturday, curl it back up, and then Sunday's the final show, and that's when they can finally wash their hair again. So it's going to be full of a lot of goop but it's actually re really easy to recurl because it already has the shape. You're just redoing all of the work you did the first time. No hairspray. Um, so don't use hairspray as much as you can. So if she starts to get like frizzy or little flyaways, I'll either use the spray or I'll use the gel to smooth that down. One other thing is this hairnet. If you have a girl who needs curls for one show and then they have to be up for another show or another act, like maybe they're in Chinese or maybe they're a soldier. Um, you would use this when the curls are, they would be out, so she, they would be completely out of the curlers from the first act, but you would then put this over their curls and secure it so that whatever goes on top, um, like their headpiece or whatever, it looks like they have a bun. Um, if they're an angel, you would take all of their curls and use this hair net to kind of pull the curls up into a bun on top of their head. So it looks like they have a bun, but it's really just a bun of curls.